Deontay Wilder. Unbelievable. And he is standing by with Heidi Angel. Much, Brian. He just gave me a nice little fist bump and said, I'm back to me. <laughs> Let's not make them wait. Let's do the bomb squad right now. Bring it. inside this ring. It's been since the times of Tyson, Lennox Lewis. What does it mean to you to finally be able to say, and do you feel like you're finally starting to chip away at those critics? First off, like I always say, if you give God the glory, he'll give you the victory. And you've seen that tonight. He gave me the victory. Second, I'd like to thank my whole team. I'd like to thank Fox for an amazing job you guys did. We're promoting the fight and putting on, on the fight for these people. Second, I'd like to thank everyone up in here. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. You guys are fucking amazing. This fight, you took on a man who came in very game, very ready, in shape, no excuses. You both were healthy. I know you have a lot of respect for Luis Ortiz, but what did you see in that moment? You've said to me that you knew his body language from the last fight. Take us through what you saw that led to that big right hand. Well, with Ortiz... You can see why no other heavyweight wants to fight him. He's very, he very crappy in the ring. He moves strategically and his intellect is very high up in the ring. So I had to play around with him. I had to calculate certain moves. Um, I had to uh, measure him in certain places. And um, in what places were you measuring him specifically? You know, in and out. I was in and out. Sometimes I'll, I'll back on my back feet. Yeah. Some say I can't fight on my back feet, but that's my specialty. You know, and I had to go back, I had to go forward, had to go back and go forward, you know, different different tactics, you know. My intellect is very high in the ring, although I don't get no credit for it. But, um, you know, I had to go in, I had to go out, you know, I had to throw the right hand a couple of times to see and how he left reacts. Hook. And, um, was talking about. and I finally, I finally found my measurement, you know, and um, I, I, I took the shot, I seen the shot and I took it, you know. I think I heard him one time, well, bust him a little bit with the left hook. That was the start of it, and then uh, I took my approach from there. But uh, Ortiz is one of the best in the world. You got to give him that. That's why I gave him the second opportunity, so he can feed his family and his beautiful daughter as well. He have his beautiful wife in the audience. And um, I just want to tell them thank you so much for allowing Ortiz to come in the ring and share his energy with me and um, display a, such an amazing talent. Hopefully, the other heavyweights in the division, and I see a lot of them in the audience, get this man the opportunity. He's one of the best. Who would you like next? There's obviously the rumors of Tyson Fury. We've got another big heavyweight bout coming up with Andy Ruiz and, of course, Anthony Joshua. Who do you want to face next? Well, my next, of course, we have Tyson Fury to rematch next. When and, and where? do you? Can you tell us when that's going to be? Well, this schedule is set um, to be... Um, done in February, so we'll see um, how that goes. And then after that, I'm looking for a unification bout. I want one champion, one face, one name, and he go by the name of Deontay Wilder. The heavyweight division is too small to have so many belts lingering around. There should just be one champion. It's too confusing for the fans, you know, and um, I think I'm the perfect man for that job. Congratulations to you, Deontay, your 10th consecutive defense of the WBC heavyweight title. You now tie Muhammad Ali with Thank that so number. Much. Congratulations. Let's get it. I got to get it over to Jordan Plant. Almost Last word. <laughs> Last word. Thank you again, fans. And let's get a bomb squad again, baby. One, two, three. Bomb squad. Well, I wasn't going to make you do it twice, but.